Caleb Williams was just drafted number one overall by the Chicago Bears in hopes to restore their franchise to greatness, bringing home their first Lombardi Trophy in over 38 years. Is he really the generational talent that every analyst has been talking about? Today, we'll play his career to find out. Our next quarterback to go off the board is Drake May to the New York Giants. And with Malik Neighbors and Keon Coleman still available, I expect the Bears to draft a wide receiver to join Caleb Williams here. Instead, they went left outside linebacker Jordan. George Jamarillo? Jamar but it looks like they're comfortable with their offense because they went three, four defensive picks in a row before drafting a tight end in the fourth round. And Caleb starting as an 80 overall, which is crazy for a rookie quarterback. And to be honest, we've got a lot of talent on this roster, maybe besides our, the middle of our offensive line, but both DJ Moore and Keenan Allen to throw to will definitely be a help. We really don't have anyone on our defensive line worth writing home about, maybe besides Montez Sweat. The linebackers aren't great, but only time will tell. But at the halfway mark of his rookie season, the Bears are in last. Last place at two and five. However, Caleb Williams is an 81 overall superstar X Factor, which should be great for the progression of his career. But Caleb Williams' rookie season was about as mid as it can get. They finished 21st in the NFL with an eight and nine record. They had literally the best offense in the NFL, so it's clearly the defense that's letting them down. Hopefully, Ryan Poles decides to get some defensive players to help him out. Because Caleb, in just his rookie season, threw for 4,900 yards. 30 touchdowns and only 12 interceptions with a 69% completion percentage. That's real nice. With literally three 1,000 yard receivers and DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, and Tyler Scott. Montez Sweat had nine and a half sacks. They got to the quarterback a lot. Jalen Johnson had four interceptions. I really don't get it. There's literally no way that the Raiders won the Super Bowl. The MVP was Lamar Jackson and the uh -huh. Offensive Rookie of the Year was JJ McCarthy. You've got to be kidding me, man. How does 5,000 yards and 30 touchdowns not get him Offensive Rookie of the Year? I'm the Bears, I'm firing flus. That's all I'm saying. At least they signed Keenan Allen to a three-year contract, but didn't make any other big free agency splashes. Ross only spent one season with the Steelers. Poor guy. And Aaron Rodgers decided to hang it up after just 20 years playing. Kirk Cousins decided to retire after 13 years, one season with the Falcons. And Travis Kelsey retires. But Caleb's up to an 86 overall after just his rookie season. DJ Moore's a 91. Keenan Allen's an 89. Jalen Johnson made superstar. Kevin Byard made superstar X Factor. And this defense looks a lot better heading into Caleb's second year. Let's just hope this leads to a record improvement for this season. He definitely had a worse season in year two with 3,700 yards, still 30 touchdowns, and only seven interceptions. But we still had 2,000-yard receivers with Keenan Allen and DJ Moore. The offense was 21st in the NFL, a big downgrade from last year. The defense was 30th. Oh, my God. Gosh. The Bears made the playoffs after winning the NFC North. And Caleb's all the way up to a 90 overall. Now, if we're able to make it to a Super Bowl, I'm going to hop in and take over to play for Caleb Williams in hopes to bring home his first one as we got our first playoff win for Caleb. 42 to 28 over the Minnesota Vikings. Now we take on the Cowboys. How is JJ McCarthy throwing for 4,800 yards and 35 touchdowns? Someone explained the logic to me. But at least the Bears are the home team, so fingers crossed they can actually win this game and we can move on to the NFC. FC Championship as we sim through here. Come on, Caleb, pull through. Wow. They won! 35 to 24 over the Cowboys somehow, some way. Oh, now we're taking on division rival Detroit Lions. Who only went 9 and 8 on the season, but look at that 93 overall offense. And Caleb somehow jumped up to a 92 overall. This did unlock set feet lead for him, and it also unlocked Gunslinger. He only threw for 241, but they did rush for 130 yards. Maybe DeAndre Swift is the difference maker. Just one more game to beat MCDC's Lions and get to the Super Super Bowl. Come on, Caleb. One more win. We won. We're in the Super Bowl facing off against none other than the Kansas City Chiefs. Who's surprised? And he's literally not even on the MVP list. This is a joke. We made a stop on defense on the first drive. Let's see what Caleb can do. Now he's number 22. I don't know where that came from, but this time we're going to have the wide open. Caleb puts it on the money. DJ Moore, wide open touchdown on his second play of the Super Bowl. But what can he do with his legs? We're just going to have to hand this one off. We've got so much space. DeAndre Swift, the run game, dude. Maybe a screen game. Let's help our young quarterback in a high pressure situation. We've got yeah. good blocks, a little spin move behind the block. Okay, boys, who wants to get over? Let's just lob it up deep. Oh my gosh, I think he overthrew him. Even though he had DJ Moore, he just overthrew him. I am Keenan Allen over the middle. If he can get open, yes, he can. He catches it two first down. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Caleb's so fast, dude. 
Oh my gosh, he's so fast. He's pushing to the end zone. If that's a hold, I'm going to be heartbroken. No, it's a holding, dude. That was such a crazy play. Throw it to X on the run. He does. What a laser on the run. Come on, Chiefs. Let me try to run the ball here with Caleb. I want to see what he can do, but DeAndre Swift pushing to the one. Who wants to get open? High pass. Catch it. No. I have to take your points when you can against the Chiefs. That's so many guys that can beat man coverage. No, we're going to take a sack. He breaks it. Caleb breaks free. First down. Got X wide open in the flat. Beat your guy to the outside. You're faster. There we go. Get out of bounds. Perhaps that's another weapon that we didn't necessarily know about. Just get out of the pocket, Caleb. Block, 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 block. Go. Don't fumble. Take off, Caleb. Take off, take off, take off. He fumbles on the one. We recovered. Get open, Keenan. Get in. Get in. Get in. Truck. No, we're so close. After getting stopped on a quarterback sneak, Caleb hands it off for the easy score. Yeah, Tyler Scott wide open in the flat. Bro, he's so fast, too. Get Look at the blocks. Me. He's breaking tackles. He's hurtling. And then he wants redemption for his DJ Moore overthrow. Come on. What a time, dude. Oh, my gosh. That was sick. They're pressing DJ Moore on the outside. That might be a big mistake. And a mistake it was. Come on. Put it on the money. That's a touchdown. On the money. That's a touchdown. Right in the bread basket. He's coming into the best situation ever. 31 to 17 in the fourth quarter. And I thought the game was over, but the Chiefs were trying to kill our generational talent. He just tried to kill my quarterback, dude. Classic Chiefs, am I right? And I guess one flag just wasn't enough for the Chiefs. Roughing the passer. They are trying to kill my quarterback. And by a score of 41 to 23, the Chicago Bears have won their first Super Bowl trophy since 1985. We just completed our first objective of his career to win a Super Bowl. But we still have six more that we need to accomplish. And if we're unable to complete all of these objectives, I'm going to buy a Caleb Williams jersey before he's even been drafted. There's a chance this could be the worst jersey purchase ever. It just speaks for itself. And you can go 20 for 28. 342 yards, four touchdowns, and zero interceptions. DJ Moore won Super Bowl MVP. But we didn't get Offensive Player of the Year. That was Jalen Hurts. And we didn't get NFL MVP. We weren't even in the top 10. And two years in, we've still had zero retirements. But Derrick Henry retired after 10 years. Now, did they sign any big key defensive players? They did pick up Darnell Wright's fifth-year option. They re-signed Kevin Byer to a one-year contract. Baker Mayfield is now a Titan, though. That's something. And with their first pick, they decided to draft a wide receiver, a deep threat out of Texas A&M. And then they went offensive line, cornerback Matt Moss. What a name. Caleb's up to a 92 overall, so we're almost to our 99 overall goal. Keenan Allen did drop down from a superstar X-Factor, losing those abilities, which hurts. But our offensive line is looking a lot better with the new guy that we drafted, Bishop. He's got a hidden dev trait, so this could be a great draft pick for us. Jermaine Edmonds is a superstar. That's great. Otherwise, we are in pretty rough shape still. Finishing second in the division in his third year, making the wild card game at an 11 and 6 record. They had the eighth best offense in the NFL and I'm guessing the defense is not great at 26 still. Something's got to change. Caleb threw for 3,700 yards, 35 touchdowns to four interceptions. But this year only one 1,000 yard receiver with DJ Moore. They did win their wild card game now taking on the 49ers in the divisional round and they lost by 1.21 to 20. Offensively another good game. 126 rushing yards, 220 passing yards, and three turnovers defensively. How did they lose this game? I see. The three turnovers were actually on Caleb Williams. He threw three interceptions. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. The 49ers didn't even make the Super Bowl. The Eagles won. And the MVP was none other than Patrick Mahomes. That's just going to get annoying. Bears did sign a free agent defensive tackle, so that's good. They picked up Caleb Williams' fifth-year option. And they picked up the fifth-year option of that left outside linebacker they drafted. But is he a 99 overall yet? Uh, 90. Seven, we're so close. This offense is so good. Though our receiver doesn't seem to be turning into much. Jermaine Edmonds is now an X factor, but we seem to have lost Kevin Byer. Jalen Johnson is a superstar. Our defensive tackle that we drafted is also a superstar. And Lamar Jones, our rookie defensive tackle, has a hidden dev trait at 70 overall. Praying he turns into something. 99 overall, MVP, offensive player of the year. Caleb Williams, you've got to come through this season. I'm not going to lie, dude. Eight and nine in his fourth season is not what you want to see. But at least Caleb was in the top three passers. Oh, we didn't make the 
playoffs. We had the third best offense. Why is our defense so bad at the 25th best? We're on the right track though, man. 4,600 yards, 35 touchdowns to five interceptions, 68% completion percentage. Getting better. We're just not there. DeAndre Swift rushed for 1,000 yards. Caleb Williams rushed for 530. Why is he not in the MVP conversation? 2,000 yard receivers. This time in our draft pick, wide receiver first round, Kevin Gancy. But Keenan Allen is definitely slipping. Our sack leader, Montez Sweat, had 12 and a half. And Jalen Johnson again had four interceptions. And the Ravens won the Super Bowl over the Cowboys with the MVP being Joe Burrow again. Tyreek Hill officially retired. Devontae Adams officially retired. And we still had zero retirement. But did Caleb Williams reach 99 overall? He did! Another goal completed from our checklist. DJ Moore is back up to a superstar. And so is Cole Komet, thankfully. This rate, Jalen Johnson might become a 99 overall. With the 13th pick, we can get some other good defensive players, some pass rushers. The Bears select Travis Ecker, center. Some more offensive line picks to help out Caleb up front. Other than that, nothing too exciting. Woo! Our secondary, bro. Not exactly great. Dang, the NFC North is good, dude. It's got to be J.J. McCarthy on the Vikings. The Bears finished third at an 11-6 record. We got a wild card game against the Cardinals. If McCarthy could not throw for 4,800 yards, that would be awesome. How am I going to win an MVP like this? Because our offense was fourth again, and our defense was 30. <laughs> Can we stop drafting offensive line? We have 4,200 yards, 35 touchdowns, three interceptions, 71% completion percentage. DJ Moore with 1,300 yards. Yancey didn't have a great year. Defensively, Montez Sweat went off yet again. So did our outside linebacker, George Jamarillo. And Jermaine Edmonds with three interceptions. I never would have guessed that. Oh, we're only sixth on the MVP voting, man. What am I gonna do? We lost in the Super Bowl. 21 to 28 to the Super Bowl MVP, Lamar Jackson. Mahomes won the MVP, of course. And uh -huh. Rice got Offensive Player of the Year. I have a feeling we're finally gonna get a retirement here that's gonna hurt. Yeah, Keenan Allen retires after 16 years. But what will Mahomes do without head coach Andy Reid? We had three really close games in the playoffs, and then in the Super Bowl, we lost. Caleb threw for 194, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, but he took four sacks. DJ Moore, 115 receiving yards. How did we lose this game, dude? We're not on the list yet for passing touchdowns or passing yards, but that's not surprising. We've only been playing for five seasons with Caleb. A huge contract for our pass rushing outside linebacker, George Jamarillo. Four years, 90 million. Jaquan Brisker got extended, Tevin Jenkins got extended, and we restructured Caleb's contract, generating 12 12 million in cap space. They're gonna draft this right tackle, William Rivers. I already know it. We need more defense. Please, please, please. A wide receiver, Jimmy Langford. Okay, I'll take that as well. Unfortunately, Langford is only a normal depth trait. Oh, that's tough, dude. Jalen Johnson regressed. This defense is gonna be the death of me, man. But I'm switching to Minnesota's offensive playbook because JJ McCarthy has been on fire. He drafted another halfback. DeAndre Swift has been a stud. Oscar McCullough. Fingers crossed for an MVP or offensive player of the year award. Please. At least we won the division this this year. Caleb threw for 4,100 yards, 30 touchdowns, five interceptions. It's like the same stats year over year, man. But Kevin Yancey's a stud. 1,000 yards. And our new rookie receiver, Jimmy Langford, almost 1,000 yards. We're ninth in MVP voting. I can't compete with apparently Mark Randolph, whoever that is. And JJ McCarthy is still torturing us. And the Ravens went back to back with Super Bowl MVP back to back, Lamar Jackson. And now that Caleb's played in the league for six years, it's time to sim 10 years ahead to see if he's still a Chicago Bear, if he's still playing football, if he's won any awards, and if he's chasing down those all-time passing records. He's dropped down to a 94 overall, and I don't recognize anybody on this team. The team looks pretty good, man. I'm not gonna lie. Not a ton of high overalls, but three players with the same picture in Caleb Williams' 16th year. He has thrown for 63,000 yards, 494 touchdowns, and 65 interceptions. Now, he is still not in the top 10 for passing yards. He's still behind J.J. McCarthy. And passing touchdowns, he's 10th at 494, but he would have to get all the way to 602 in the next couple years in order to be in the top three. The real question is, has he won any MVPs or Offensive Players of the Year? 2029, he did not. 2030, he did not. 2031, he didn't. 2032. 2033, Justin Jefferson and Lamar Jackson. This is not looking good. Zach Rodriguez and Mark Randolph. 2035 was Bryce Young. Panthers fans, it finally came through. But the Bears were in the Super Bowl, even though they lost. And the next year, they lost the Super Bowl again. Again, he won the MVP in 2036 and Offensive Player of the Year. That's two more objectives knocked out. All we need is the career ones now. 2037, he didn't. And 2038, he won his second. 
second MVP and second offensive player of the year. Now it's time to see if he's going to remain a Chicago Bear. And in 2039, he won his third NFL MVP, but the Bears didn't even make the Super Bowl. However, he is starting to seriously regress. Currently moving from one-year deal to one-year deal. He's got one year left on this contract. And in 2040, he's going to make $56 million, which at that time in the NFL will be quite the bargain for an MVP. 2040 has Caleb Williams retired. We're going to take a look and we'll be looking after every season, not yet. And he's moved up to eighth in passing yards and seventh in passing touchdowns. We're making a run. And when it comes to legacy leaderboard, he's at 41,767. According to my research, you need 10,000 to be inducted to the Hall of Fame. So Caleb Williams is on his way. But the Bears ended up moving on. They signed CJ Stroud, who's an 80 overall quarterback. And now he's on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on a one-year $51 million contract. But his receiving options on this team don't look too hot. The defense, not so bad though. And Caleb won no awards in his first season with the Buccaneers as he's now regressed down to just an 86 overall superstar. Everything is regressing so fast. The good news is that he has not retired yet. But after not making the playoffs, the Buccaneers decided not to re-sign Caleb Williams. <laughs> and instead... He is now a Dallas Cowboy. With, again, no superstar receivers to throw to. And a defense that looks pretty decent. And now that I've wow. got my chicken nuggets, let's go ahead and see how he did with this season in the Cowboys. He didn't win any awards. J.J. McCarthy is still throwing for 4,300 yards. And Caleb only threw for 3,600 yards, 27 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. But has he retired? Is it time to phone it in? No, he's still going. Of course, McCarthy is second in most yards all time, somehow, some way. Caleb Williams is fifth. Eaton is still still playing though, which could cause problems for his legacy. But the amount of time he has left is getting smaller and smaller. And it looks like the Cowboys have a little bit of a QB controversy as they have Sanderson at 82 overall as the backup to Caleb Williams 81 overall. And after 20 years in the NFL, Caleb Williams has finally decided to hang it up. He finished with a legacy score in the top five of 45,000 behind JJ McCarthy. I don't understand how this is happening. But that is enough for the Hall of Fame. He only won one Super Bowl despite appearing in several and it took him till the right age of 41 to finally call it quits. And for passing yards, he finished fourth. 3,000 yards behind J.J. McCarthy. Time to buy a Caleb Williams Bears jersey and just pray at this point that they actually end up drafting him. But if you enjoyed this video, I made Patrick Mahomes a giant over 10 feet tall. Go watch that right here.